wonder. My name is Dr. Ann Rivera, and I'm serving as a CPAC chairperson this year, and CPAC is the Special Education Parent Advisory Committee as a part of the Buffalo Public Schools. So I work as an advocate for students with disabilities and for the parents and families of students with disabilities. But I also work as a professor at Villa Maria College. I'm the chair of our department there, and I also help uh, design and deliver professional development to our faculty in that department. Awesome. And so why um, is Restorative Justice Day and Restorative Justice Circles, why are they important? They're extremely important. So for me, they're important both personally and professionally. As a parent of a child with a disability, I can see the ways in which breakdowns in communications happen and people feel isolated from their communities. It's really, really important that we get back together as a community, we work together. But also professionally, when I work with my students uh, at school, one of the biggest things that we, one of the biggest challenges that they struggle with is that they don't feel connected to education. They feel like education is something that's been done to them. They feel like they're not seen as people. They're not understood as people. And they are. They have layers. They have rich family histories. They have rich personal histories. And they all have to be integrated, talked about, touched within the classroom. Thank you so much. Um, and so you kind of alluded to this, but what are some of um, like the more pressing challenges that um, students and families face um, either in their school communities or even in their home communities. We face a lot of trauma in our communities today, a lot of things that happen to us in the course of our lives that we react to as time goes on. Even when we've gotten past it or we think we've gotten past it, it can inform our behavior and can inform the way that we feel. And we tend to feel very acted upon by these things. We are. So when you have people who have dealt with a lot of trauma, we need to deal with that in a classroom setting. We need to deal with that in our school communities and our other communities. But also there's a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of disconnection that happens. And I think that restorative practices can bring us back into relationship with each other, really hear where each other is coming from and get a deeper understanding of all of the members of our community so we can be stronger together. Cool. Um, and so what are some of like the, the entities or individuals or things that are just working in the Buffalo community um, in terms of lifting up restorative practices. Truthfully, most of the people who are here, I'm just getting involved in this, so I'm really happy to say that I have the opportunity to even start being a part of it. But a lot of the restorative justice work that's being done in and out of the schools, um, what I saw today was a bunch of agencies, agency heads coming together and talking about ways to make this happen in our community. Awesome. And is there anything um, that you would like to leave folks in the community with or anything that you would like to see happen um, in the near future in the Buffalo community? I would like to see more of these circles between adults and youth. I think it's really important that we see each other as people. I think it will help us um, understand each other, work together, and become just a stronger Buffalo.